Hi, this is Melisande de Rouget for Diagnostic Imaging Europe. I'm here live at ESGAR 2023 in Valencia with Professor Luis Marti Bonmati. He's head of the medical imaging department at La Fe University Hospital in Valencia. Hi, Luis. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, well, thanks a lot for the so, interview. Yeah, of course, you just moderated this symposium right here on uh, assessing treatment response. Can you tell us what kind of tools do you use to predict and assess response? Yeah, um, in oncological imaging, it's more and more relevant not only to guess where the tumor is located, the properties, the extension to the lymph nodes or metastasis or so on, but we have to evaluate treatments, not only on clinical trials, mm. also on daily practice. Mm. And to do that, we are using the tools we were using for several years, which are mainly distances, measurements. Are they growing or are they shrinking? And those tools, which are quite simple, they were properly used by radiologists for so many years, but they were not good enough. Mm. Because with new treatments, we need to evaluate new biological measurements, changes, perfusion, vascularity, cellularity, and so other issues. And that's why the use of contrast agents is quite important in these cases. Okay, uh, there's a huge gap now between the guidelines and the clinical uh, practice, the reality of clinical practice. So um, what should radiologists do to bridge that gap? Yeah, well, we are trying to incorporate you know, new ways of doing things better. In some way, guidelines are critical. We have to follow them, but they are based on populations, uh, evidence-based that was obtained maybe five or ten years ago. Uh, today, with the use of the new medical images, new contrast agents, new softwares, we are able to measure new things, to evaluate new properties, and not only to define or to assess the response to treatment, also to predict mm. if those lesions will uh, shrink, will disappear after, after specific treatments. That's extremely important. Okay, got it. So use the new tools at your disposal, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> okay. Uh, this symposium gave some answers in that sense, examples. Um, could you please share some of the key messages delivered by the speakers? Yeah, well, we were so happy having uh, both of the greatest speakers, that are Professor Eisenweiter and Gianni Morano. And they were speaking on the use of uh, both high concentrated uh, iodine contrast media mm -hmm. that allow us to see even the smallest vessels and the lowest perfusion areas within the tumor and how vascularity change in these tumors. That's extremely relevant and important and that, that was not incorporated on the guidelines but is a new information. And also on the MR, we can have a hepatobiliary spreaded contrast media that will provide us with a beautiful information, not only on how many really small lesions are present, but also how do they change after treatment with these beautiful tools we have today. Okay, both CT and MR then. Mm. Okay, thank you so much, Luis, for your time. My that pleasure. was Melisande Rouget signing off for Diagnostic Imaging Europe. Mm.